The most popular four-flight accessory is the Sentry line of portable ADS-B receivers. They provide GPS position, but it also receives subscription-free data link weather. Once ForeFlight is connected to Sentry and you are in range of an ADSB ground station, you can view weather information like you would on the ground when connected to the Internet. For example, tap the Airports tab to read METARS, TAFs, Winds Aloft, and NOTAMs for individual airports. You'll notice the ADSB label next to the timestamp, indicating that this information is coming from the ADSB receiver. Then, tap the Maps tab to view radar imagery, airmets, sigmets, TFRs, METAR symbols, and lightning overlaid on your moving map. You can turn on multiple weather layers at the same time and tap on a weather report for more information. There are also options for icing, turbulence, cloud tops, and freezing levels. With the exception of the freezing levels layer, these use an altitude slider, allowing you to view forecast layers at different altitudes. You'll also see an auto button at the top of the slider. Tap this, and ForeFlight will automatically select the closest altitude for the weather layer to your GPS based altitude ensuring you're viewing the most relevant information without having to adjust the altitude slider as you climb and descend throughout the flight. When connected to Sentry, you'll see a separate ADSB radar layer in the menu. The regular radar layer should only be used on the ground to display internet-based radar. ForeFlight will simultaneously display two different radar products for the U.S regional, and national. The regional radar, available within roughly 250 miles of your aircraft, is a higher resolution image and is updated every five minutes. Beyond that range, you'll see a slightly lower resolution national radar image, which is updated every 15 minutes. It's essential that you monitor the timestamp at the top left corner of the map, which indicates how old your weather overlay is. While all data link weather products are inherently delayed at least a bit, watching the timestamp will ensure you are regularly receiving updates. You don't want to make decisions based on old data. You can tap on the timestamp for details about each of the weather products you're viewing. To get more information about your connected Sentry receiver, tap the gear symbol at the top of the Maps page. Scroll to the bottom of the Settings menu, and you'll see the name of your connected device at the bottom. Tap this button, and you'll see a full page of information, including connection status, battery life, age of weather products, customizable settings, and more. This is a great way to quickly verify you are connected to your ADSB receiver and you are receiving current weather data. It's also the first place to check if you suspect a problem with your ADSB receiver. Another tip when using Sentry is to take advantage of the looping ADSB radar feature. After ForeFlight receives a few weather radar updates from ADSB, press the play button at the bottom of the map to animate the radar. This can reveal helpful trends in both the movement and intensity of precipitation and storms. It can take up to 15 or 20 minutes to receive enough radar frames to play the animation. Refer to the status page to see how many radar frames have been received. Also note, the Imagery tab is only for use on the ground.